Today we're going to look at the Bullfighter LP100. Now a couple things to keep in mind. I'm not sure exactly who the manufacturer or the seller is for this brand. One Amazon listing has Yulan, another has Yunan, but I'll put uh, links to both in the description below. Now to keep things simple, I'll just refer to it as the Bullfighter brand. This is one of those times where the description on Amazon should really totally be ignored. Uh, it's really ridiculed with inaccuracies in the description, uh, even in the product title. It's listed as 34 inch, which may lead people to believe that it's a smaller scale, short scale, but it's not, it's full size. The specs state the color is white, I can assure you it's not. The body material is metal, I can assure you it's not. So given such basic inaccuracies, I wonder if the claim of hand dressed stainless steel frets is accurate, but we'll take a look and find out. So with that in mind, let's take a closer look at the Bullfighter LP100. My guitar came with a truss rod cover that has a, a door. That's not pictured in the advertisement. That was just a bonus feature. The nut is definitely plastic, but it's cut in just fine. The tuners are not your average cheapos. They are your average cheapos with brands and they are bullfighter branded. Who would have thought? The description of everything says maple for the neck, I believe, and mahogany for the body. Again, I don't really trust anything in the description at this point, just due to the inaccuracies. The frets, are they stainless steel? Well, I'll tell you one thing. They are not jagged. There's no issue there. I didn't feel them when I was playing it or tuning it up. They are very smooth. There is very little drag. Could they be stainless steel? There is zero tarnish. They do have that brushed look that some stainless has. Just based on the cost, I would assume it's a photo finish, but I don't know. The top is beveled like a Les Paul, like a uh, carved top. Right here is the only relief cuts on the guitar. Nice touch. Definitely has a sharp point on the horn. Single cut with the cut. The cut goes beyond 90 degrees at the headstock, so it's almost like a telly look to it. So I have no complaints with the, with the visuals. I think this is actually a very nice looking guitar. The only flaw that I have found is that the neck is smushed into the pickup guard right here. And uh, hopefully I'll get you a close up for that to take a look at. And that's going to make adjusting this pickup real hard. I don't think it's going to move under its own power or very easily because it's really stuck in there. I'm going to pause there. We're going to get this thing tuned up and see how it sounds. I have got the bullfighter. Is it okay if from now on I say it like that every time I mention Bullfighter?
overall and out of the box the bullfighter lp100 is a pretty fine guitar it uh, is definitely going to need some setup if yours is anything like mine but at this price point it's pretty much what i would expect so just know that out of the box it's going to be a fun setup guitar a fun project guitar a fun guitar to do upgrades on the body is beautiful um let me take that pick guard off. I think the pick guard detracts from the look. I think it'll look better without it. Very comfortable. Very comfortable to play. The truss rod cover. That's a nice touch. So I'll give credit where credit is due. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this one for the Bullfighter. The Bullfighter. The Bullfighter LP100. Decent guitar. Get your tools ready. Uh, if I were a beginner looking for a guitar to learn how to play out of the box, I might pass on this one for something a little more in the known good territory. You may get one set up perfectly. This one's going to need a little bit of setup to play better, for sure. Still, not a horrible guitar. Definitely a beautiful looking instrument. Uh, I can't complain at the price point. I will put links to this one in the description below. There's also one on Amazon that's a blue color, which looks nice too, and I'll put a link to that one as well. Again, buyer beware when you're reading the description because I think the descriptions are way off, if not just totally untrue, because that's not metal and that's not white. Just saying. So, I appreciate you watching. I really do. Uh, there might be a, a video over here if you want to take a look at it or a playlist and a subscribe button over here if you don't mind clicking on it. I do appreciate it. There'll be links to this and other variations of this guitar in the description down below. I do appreciate you watching. I thank you. And until next time, take care and peace. For some reason, I want to like do that chuck wagon. Yeah! <laughs> Bullfighter!